Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Chris. And welcome to Sonnet Television. And in my hand is a... New product from Whelan. Yes, and it is... The T-Series Mini. Ta-da. This is probably a drum roll somewhere along here. But basically, it's a really low profile, small version of the Ion family. Mm -hmm. And it's the T-Ion family. Mm -hmm. And it's the micro T-Ion. Micro, mini, really, really small version, yes. tiniest of the wheel and heads. Yeah, we can put a few different names we to it. We could, indeed, and probably get into a lot of trouble with the people at the factory going, no, please don't do that. Well, why don't anyway, I go over and anyway. show it so that way we don't have to worry about the factory and anything troublesome. We can just show how amazing this light's going to be once you have it in hand for your vehicle. Yes, as Mario Andretti races around the studio. <laughs> that being you, Chris, not the car outside. i got to stop letting the coworkers borrow my car. I, it sounds like it. Our friends of Whelan Engineering have taken a light head, the Ion T series, that they introduced to us not too long ago. Well, they have yet a new introduction known as the Ion T series Mini. Now, this little guy has an all new, unique footprint, so it is something that is going to have its own mounting position on your vehicle. But don't worry, if you can't find a suitable position with your own doings, we do have some nice bracketry that you can order, and it's on the sidebar of the product page. You can even jazz it up and do a chrome bezel in place of the black one here. So thinking about maybe some watercraft applications, motorcycles, side-by-sides, or stuff suitable for fire and rescue and bringing it into that nice chrome atmosphere, make sure to take advantage of that little upgrade. But these light heads, while they do have that very small footprint, because it is a mini, they do pack a big attitude with those six diodes. They're available in four safety colors. After it all, it's just a single solid color light. So amber, blue, red, and lastly, white. And the part numbers for that, you'll notice them change a bit based on those colors and finalizing the last character on the drop-down menu. But in this case here, T-L-M-I-R. So this little light head, 25 user selectable flash patterns. One of them is Steady Burn. There are patterns that have their own randomized functionality to them. So like you're seeing here, a little bit of fast, a little bit of slow mixed in. And of course there is the phasing with phase one, phase two. So simultaneous or alternating patterns. To make changes, well, it's the same thing that you've used before with Wheel and Engineering and their great products. The scan lock trigger wire, white with violet trace. So momentary tap of a positive 12 volts to that, well, that'll make a change to the flash patterns for you. So once you've found something suitable for your application, just go ahead and cap that off and then tie together the scan lock. So something to keep in mind when it comes to the patterns and the phasing, because this is something that I have to pay attention to along with our install friends, is they're going to look identical. Phase one, phase two, exact same flashing format. But when you jump from phase one to two, there is a little bit of a hesitation. And with that, that's putting it over to two. So once you have the gray wires from one and two lights tied together, or maybe even more, you'll notice the simultaneous or alternating rhythm taking effect. Now, speaking of flash patterns and synchronization, it doesn't have to just be the Ion T series minis. These can talk with the Ion T series, they can talk with vertexes, the other classic ions, microns, and other heads as well. So you can maximize your vehicle. Everything can talk to itself. So really nice there. With such a powerful output of lighting, I can't believe that Wheel and Engineering is calling this the Mini. Well, that's because it's the newest addition when it comes to its counterpart known as the T-Series. They're part of the Ion, so an expansion of that. Available in a solid color format and others alike, just check the product menu that we have for you before ordering finalization. But when it comes to this light head, six diodes nicely fit together with a ultra thin diffuser, so head on impact all the way stretching out. So such a simple product has such a sophisticated output when it comes to your application. When it comes to this product, 12 volts, so carry that into your electrical system. And if you want to take advantage of further products, starting with a T from Wheel and Engineering, standard T-Series Ion, solid colors, dual colors alike, and tying in the tracers, lengthening out the vehicle, a really nice array of three products for an ultimate lighting package.
Mounting applications, really nice for a rear midship light on pickup trucks. So this cleverly fits down in the crevice between the base of the tailgate and top of the rear bumper. So you don't have to worry about the tailgate dropping down and knocking into the clear polycarbonate lens. It'll fit in there absolutely perfectly. So for vehicles where you want to pack a lot of lighting in, well, four, six, or even eight of these will fit in there very nicely tie together the synchronization and a really clean flashing array you'll have on the back. Thinking of SUVs, well, flip up the rear hatch, a great addition to install down in the basin. And again, you're not gonna have to do anything as far as a grommet when it comes to the actual light head. It's that compact as far as the size goes. But something that I do want to point out to you, because it is important when the mounting is all considered with things going onto the exterior. Now the light head, it's three different pieces. So you have the polycarbonate bezel, you have the light head itself, and then you have the rubber backing. So make sure every time you're doing the installation, you're not forgetting this. It's very important, even when you're going onto the interior of this. So there's no little notches that you'll notice in the basin of the gasket here. It's a little circle followed by a little bar going to the center hole. Those correspond to the Gore-Tex breather on the back of the light. So you'll notice the little circle there. So mounting position on the exterior, you actually want to have that Gore-Tex breather downward facing and in turn lined up with the gasket position. So that way, if there's any atmospheric changes, a little bit of condensation does appear. It'll naturally clear itself out through the Gore-Tex breather and ventilation. The back of the light head. It is something a little different because it is so tiny inside, Whelan had to do something as far as connecting the wiring points into the circuitry. So you do have a connection point here on the back that does have a protrusion. So comparing it to the other T-series here, you are going to have to do a bit more of a hole. It's roughly 0.875 as far as the diameter of the hole in the gasket here. So you are going to have to do a cutout for that, otherwise this is going to rise itself off the surface. So just a little tip when it comes to getting everything locked down before the final position and fit and fit of the wonderful Mini T series from Whelan Engineering. The Mini T is also a great motor car racing. Well actually it's not motor car racing, there goes my brain. Motorcycle racing called the TT racing which takes place in the Isle of Man. Mm -hmm. I've been watching it lately, yeah. it's amazing. Um, New records Let's were set this year. Product. I just brought it up there, Chris. It's what they call a gap filler. I know. I see something seat. shiny and I get distracted. You know me. I'm sorry. There you go. He's got something in his hands. We'll be safe now. So there we have it from Wheeland Engineering. It is the Mini T Series. Mm -hmm. And it is available here on Sirenet. I'm Chris. I'm Stuart. And again, thanks for watching us here on Sirenet Television. Have we'll see day. you next time. Yes, we will.